Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Table of Content Maker plugin, and I'm excited to announce another big update, and it's version 1.2, so we have a lot of new features and a whole lot of improvements that I wanna show you, so let's take a look. So everything is documented here on the blog post. You can click the link in the description if you're on YouTube, come over to this post and read all about it. So as you know, we continually improve things. We are always wanting to release updates and new features, and this is a collection of new things. So I wanna just cover them, explain some things. Um, yeah, I'll just jump right in. The first thing is design settings for the heading links in the table of contents, right? So what I'm referring to is right in here, you can see all the headings that are automatically populated, like install Divi, download the plugin, install the plugin, right? These, you know, this text, right? So we've added design settings for those. Before it was kind of limited. Now you can do like a background. Now you could add a border or a box shadow. Let me show you. Along with everything, we've rearranged a few things, but the main thing is this here is, we did change the, the name of this, but it's content heading links. That's what I'm referring to, content heading links. So now you'll see here like, oh, here's margin. So I could like add a little margin to space them out. Actually, let's add a background just to like, there you go, right? It's like, wow, super obvious. Um, let's add some color to the links. And again, there's, there's different settings for the active link and the regular links. You could add padding in here right you could um, go down here and make a border uh, let's see. you could add a box shadow yeah you could literally like add a, a border like that um, so anyway <laughs> excuse my poor design choices but I'm just trying to show you what you can do now so that's the regular text and then there's a couple things that are all related here so kind of bear with me so marker position now this is a new setting that is in the content tab here in the content settings here at the bottom you'll see marker position inside and if you would click that little expander help text thing choose to show the heading level markers inside or outside the heading level text design settings okay what that means is watch this if i say outside you can kind of see what i'm talking about now the markers are outside of the design settings that I just showed you. The default would be inside, which, yeah, you can change that if you want. So I just wanted to show you that kind of, it's all related. The other related thing is a new toggle for the active links. So over in the design tab again, this toggle right here, content heading active link. So it's content heading links that you just saw, and then active link. The active link, I may want the background color to be this yellow, right, like that, and maybe I want the active link text to, um, yeah, you know what I mean, be something else. Then I could even change the spacing, like I could change, make, just to, for example, I could make the padding of the active one, like really crazy big all right you get the picture i could make it italic um maybe maybe i want them to be square and maybe i want the mortar to be a lot thicker you get the idea that is all new settings in this content heading active link toggle another one that's new since version 1.1 this is version 1.2 now top offset so when you are clicking on a link and you know here i'll just show you it's like let's say i just click on any one of these the distance between the top of this and the and the bottom or you know the top of my screen i was gonna say like the bottom of the top uh the the top of my screen to the top of the heading that i clicked on that distance <laughs> can be set now in the module here. And in fact, let me get out so I don't save those changes on my demo. I don't really want my demo to look like that. All right, so in the content tab, in the content settings toggle, 
is top offset and it's a default setting here and I could change this and then when I would click here this space is 100 right now because that's the default but as I click on these toggles that's gonna like adjust right it'll click and it'll go like maybe to there or maybe down here somewhere that's because you may have you may have your top like if this blue part here was sticky or if it was like a smaller sticky section when I scroll you don't want this text you know every time I click on one of these things to overlap whatever you have at the top so that's why we added that setting <laughs> another uh, feature request really and it kind of goes along with like someone said can I translate the keyword highlight text it's like oh so right here it says keyword highlight right so if I say like module you can, wow I use the word module a lot there how would you change keyword highlight? Well, right here is a new setting, keyword highlight custom text. I could say, type a word, whatever you wanna say, and now you can write your own text there. So that's that's a great new feature. We did like do like updates to like terminology, which I'm not that concerned about telling you about, but just different things, like calling that links was one thing, and then of course we had to update all these and the help text and trying to make things better, really. Uh, the change log is right here. You could click on that. It's actually a fairly long change log. Different things we've improved and we're learning that, wow, a table of contents is harder to make than you would think. There's a lot of things happening. It's a lot of automation happening. How do you get those heading links into the table and do that well without, you know, duplicating things? Like, for example, someone wanted to add a, a superscript and it was not working right. It's like all these little factors that you don't think about when you make a plugin like this. Um, we've done a whole lot of improvements, as you can see right here. So it's just, yeah, a lot of things. Um, we improved, this is a big one, and numbering logic for the decimal numbers. So like here, you can see like one getting started, and then like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. It wasn't working right, and we fixed that. And it, in the last update, it wasn't working right. Some people were asking about that, so that's improved. That's it, I think. Here's the link to click to go view that demo, um, the live demo. We're updating all that, uh, the demo and the change log and the settings list and the documentation's all updated. And really, we want to hear more feature suggestions from you. And you can see that we are really creating a full, complete, thorough plugin here and we want to have everything that you need really and then some in fact we want to go beyond the norm with all our plugins so let me know if you have more ideas for version 1.3 and whatever that is just let me know we take all kinds of crazy ideas if you have not purchased it yet go check it out if you're doing any kind of blog that's exactly why we made it um, improve the readability um, the SEO and just the way everything's just so organized there for the user. Lots of settings. You can make it sticky when you scroll. You can make it collapse when you scroll. You can design everything. Um, really, you can really design everything. So, <laughs> hope you enjoy that. Go check it out if you haven't. And hope you enjoy this new update.